details have emerged on the unbiased review and basically we've seen that this individual is now being charged with serious charges that has placed them on a hiatus as of yet um, details have not emerged on his bond or anything around his defense of what actually occurred so there's no reason or rhyme that we have to understand that he is guilty or not guilty of these charges being placed on him. Now, aside from this, we're now looking and approaching a new era of issue. So there, some of the best bloggers in battle rap have gotten together and ended up on a show known as Angry Fan Radio. And while doing this show, it seems that drama has popped off. And in this drama, um, you know, respect to to Piper Boy, as you've seen, he had to leave the this talk. He had to go handle some business, but in him leaving, it seems that a debate was sparked, and it had to do with Battle Fan. Um, excuse me, I mean Battle Truth and Angry Fan. But it wasn't Angry Fan himself; it was individuals associated with him. So the normal ones, I think, it's Tony Bro, Tony Polo, and uh, I'm if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it was another individual uh, on the side, a third individual who I'm not aware of, but Battle Truth was there as well. Um, and in this discussion, there was a lot of words thrown back and forth. And m a lot of these words had to do with insults and various problems that it seems have stemmed from people's opinion of the Mook and Rex situation. Because we just seen URL dropped uh, Rex this, uh, and it was pretty harsh, and it basically made us see that Rex allegedly should have been the leader of Dot Mob instead of Moot because of the work put in in the position of claiming a leadership. So we really see how real life issues are beginning to unfold as these artists and individuals are colliding with each other on different levels. Now, the battle talk was good about Mook and Rex. And, you know, it turned into a little bit of more battle talk about what's to come in the future of battle rap. And then this situation seemed to stem objective opinions that turned around and led to conversations that shouldn't have happened that turned personal and these personal conversations went on air and they were concerns about battle truth on basically questioning these guys why is it that he always has a problem with them when he comes on and you know their response was normal like um very defensive as they a person would be for their own defense like what are you talking about then it stemmed to turn to talking about some realer stuff about who's more street, who has more cred, who's doing more out here in the field versus just talking on battle rap blogs. And I think that's when everything went left, when Battle Truth started really testing that that part of who these individuals are on these shows. And it made them defend themselves because any man would defend himself like, what do you mean? I'm standing on my own, too. Uh, but it just turned very bad. So now I watch in full Battle Truth's releases and it, I've watched in full the releases from Angry Fan Radio, the original ones. Um, and after watching them, I've concluded that I think that both of them just need to fall back. Both parties just need to fall back because... Even though you have objective opinions, this is not what's needed for battle rap. As we know, an alleged convictions weighing over Chris unbiased and more focus needs to be put on the predictions for this next upcoming battle and what we have uh, going forward. And basically the mentality that's present after we see the, the true release of the jack boy vs rider and this battle is very dope so as this is released we need to see what's actually going to occur now this release is huge because this shows the new class upcoming power 
not only can they battle on their own two, one mano y mano, one verse one with somebody, but they have the literal power to be a double team powerhouse. You have Ryder and Jack Boy, and then you even have the ability to put drugs into a battle mix up with these MCs. So this is a, a huge change for what we have going forward. Now, with that said, I know that a lot of people are looking forward to different matches coming and what other cards can be made out of these uprising stars. So with that said, I feel like the battle rap blogging focus should be less on the beef and drama of what's going on in the situation, but more in the progression because we don't even know what's going to happen with the situation going forward with Chris Unbiased. So we're, it's a huge, huge, um, let's say, gray area right now for what's going to happen in battle rap. I don't think there's a clear answer or a clear picture to what's the future going to bring. We could just look to see what Smack and Beasley are doing or what cards KOTD on the sides putting together. But as you know, I'm a URL fan. I don't really mess with KOTD. I don't really enjoy their battles. Um, I, I just like URL style. I, I say it just like G Money says on, on Queen's Flip. He's, just, he's cool. He's just cool. The way Smack and Beasley do is just cool. So I, I don't have any opinion on what's happening over there. If they come out with a good battle with names of MCs, I like I watch it, but I'm not really into that. Um, This is crazy. Battle rap blogging has come so far, and yet it is so primitive in the fact that Everybody should be focused on working together and, and making good predictions and making that good quality sound and the conflict with battle rap because we got a lot more to figure out what, what's going to be coming with uh, potential legends getting locked up. Um, we got some people just saying they're retiring and they got more of a career to give. It, it's many MCs like, and you know, I don't sugarcoat and I don't, uh, make it a secret. I think show off has a lot more that he can give to the URL stage. And I look forward to seeing him on the URL stage actually. So I just hope that these artists don't retire. Um, they find amends. And if they got beef, they settle it in the ring because battle raps, what we're here to do, we're here to up the culture. So I want to hear, uh, bars over beef. I'm going to say like that because I know some other people use some other slogans and I don't like stealing slogans. So bars over beef. Also over this beef and stuff, bars. Bars is what it's about. So if you got a problem with an MC, it's time to start setting it up. That's what I'm going to say. That's my, my what I'm going to say. That's my new word. Set it up. I'm not even going. It's nothing like that. Set it up. If, if, it, if it's that serious, set it up. And if you show up and he, he smoked you, then that's it. You go your ways, because if you really hate this person, you're going to write um, something legendary. So I I'm looking forward to seeing where the culture is going, what's going to happen with the music all together. And that Battle Truth and Angry Fans Radio make some type of understanding so they could go forward. I mean, Angry Fan was silent. So when when people are beefing like that, it's really out of your hands you can't control another man so i understand that part but going forward let's see what's going to happen and you know how i rock all rights reserved